So here we are. We're basically dry through the evening hours, and then by midnight, we're starting to see things uh, approach the south zone and then continuing to spread northward during the night. So this is 4 o'clock in the morning where the moisture is really starting to surge north. So let's uh, kind of zoom in on that and give you more detail here. So this is, again, 4 o'clock in the morning, and you can see to the south, this purple is a wintry mix. That could be snow, sleet, freezing rain, rain, just a mix of everything. And then down near the state line, this could be all rain, but notice farther to the north, you're going to see that this is going to become just snow. Now, it's impossible for any meteorologist to say with 100% certainty the exact location of where the transition will be. Based on everything I've looked at this afternoon, I think somewhere between 8 mile and 94 is going to be kind of that transition zone, that buffer zone, give or take a mile or two on either side of that. And then south of that is more of that wintry mix where you get almost no accumulation, just less than an inch of snow, maybe even just a half inch or less than that. And then north of that where it's colder and it stays mostly snow, that's where we're going to get most of our accumulation. Now, this is 11 o'clock in the morning, so the stuff is still here. But then as we get into the afternoon, notice that it starts to move out and we're left with just little splotchy, very light little patches of it could be a little freezing drizzle, could be a little light snow, but uh, not really a whole lot going on in the afternoon. And then as we get into the nighttime hours, the cloud cover starts to break up. So as far as snowfall amounts, again, to the south with that wintry mix or just rain, very little accumulation. Most of us, I think, are going to get one to two inches of snow, but I think there's the, at least the possibility of a very narrow band. I'm only talking about a 10 or 15 mile wide band that could get two to maybe two and a half, and that would stretch from Jackson over across to, say, Chelsea into the Novi, South Lyon area, Commerce Township, Bloomfield Township, over into Sterling Heights. Maybe you could get a little over two inches there, but again, for the average, one to two, and I'm just going to put it between meh and nuisance on the snow meter. Again, if you're trying to get somewhere, it'll be a little slow tomorrow morning, but listen, the kids can get out and play in this stuff. And listen, we all want to see a little coating of white as we approach Christmas. All right, 32 the overnight low tonight, and that's part of the problem with that mixed bag coming in. Only getting to 36 tomorrow, again, with the precipitation tapering off during the afternoon. And then as you can see here on Sunday for the Lions game, dry with some sun, 34 degrees, 40 on Monday, but then basically 30s the rest of the week through Festivus and too early to say for sure, but maybe the chance for some snowflakes on Christmas Eve.